Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is My Banner. Beloved family, our text says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this on a scroll as something to be remembered and make sure that Joshua hears it, because I will completely block out the name of Amalek from under heaven. Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. He said, Because hands were lifted up against the throne of the Lord. Exodus 17, 14 to 16. I remember back in high school that the track and field meet against other high schools was a huge event. Classes were canceled as we competed at the track meet. I attended the undisputed, undefeated champions, St. Augustine's College. When we arrived at the sports center track complex, there was a sea of red, our school colors, and we would raise our banner high with pride, the big red machine. To let everyone know, SAC is here. This year we attended our son Zion's NCAA basketball game versus the Duke Blue Devils, and I was in awe. When you look up in Cameron Indoor Stadium, all you see are the NCAA championship banners hanging from the Raptors. And this alone could intimidate the teams that were coming there to play the Blue Devils. Banners are a sign. It's a remembrance of something or someone great. A banner can speak louder than anything we can say. Our God is Jehovah Nisi. He is the Lord, our banner. This was the message Moses wanted to leave his enemies. Our father and king is the almighty God and his name is to be feared in all the earth. When the armies line up for battle, they lift up their flag or banner. This is to signify their strength and military might. When the enemy sees that the Lord Jesus Christ is our banner, on the battlefield, fear grips them. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to me. Even if the enemy is coming to destroy us with the force of a flood, lifting up Jesus Christ, who is our victory, will strike fear and defeat the enemy. No weapon formed against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. The word form is the word purpose or plan, the weapons that the enemy purposed or planned to use against us shall not prevail. Solomon says in Proverbs 19, 21, many are the plans of a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. In other words, not only will the weapons fail, the very plan will fail. No plan or scheme of the enemy shall succeed, for the Lord is Jehovah Nisi, our banner. Do you know that there are some people secretly wishing for you to fail? They smile in your face, but they're still trying to take your place or make your name a disgrace. But not even their plans can prosper. Isn't that wonderful that Christ doesn't even allow some of our haters' plans to touch us or even come before us? I can envision the enemy writing out his scheme and plan to destroy us as one writes a poem or song only to crumble it up and throw it away as he whispers, that one won't succeed either. So what banner are you waving around? What sign are you holding up? And listen, before we answer a holy sanctified answer, let's be real. Desperation is a banner, idolatry is a banner, lying is a banner, pride is a banner, rebellion is a banner, low self-esteem is a banner, trustworthiness is a banner, responsibility is a banner, reliability is a banner, integrity is a banner, and faith is a banner. Our banner is a reminder of who we are and who God is. 
God knows our identity. He can change the banner that we carry to the only banner we need to carry, and that is the banner of the Lord Jesus Christ, Jehovah, our banner. Gideon's banner was a coward. God changed it to a mighty warrior. Moses' banner was murderer. God changed it to deliverer. David's banner was shepherd. God changed it to king. Joseph's banner was a dreamer. God changed it to reality. This is my prayer for you. Dream about purpose. Have visions about activating your purpose in the kingdom of God. And trust him to bring it to reality. Our Lord Jesus Christ's banner was always, I am. We can proudly hold it up because whatever we need, Jesus says, I am. The world lifted up the banner of the Lamb of God and he drew all men to him. Family, let's lift up the banner who is the light of the world. Much love. <laughs>